Waking up fucked up. Yeah. Look, I know what it's like. Waking up fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know what it's like. Waking up fucked up. Uh, when I'm on my highs, I'm like, who want what? I got two bloods for the anxiety driving me to not believe in myself. Them insecurities inside of me is exposed. Trying to camouflage like a gecko in a vulnerable state. How do I let go of opinions from niggas that never do shit? They just spew shit. He is to never give two shits. Cause when people take your talents in vain, not realizing the strength and the growth. I came and I soaked up the game. Fed it back free of charge. Me and large, it's my and communities change the laws to free my dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
forget this. Let me see you again, bro. Calls, man. Come here. You're my little brother. I love you. Always and for real. I'll come back for you, I promise. Okay. That was a really long ride just for some tacos. Just some tacos? No, babe, the best tacos in all of California. Besides, we eat Indian food all the time. Let's try something different for a change. Okay, these are really good. Told ya. I'm picking where we eat from now on, okay? Is everything all right? It's my mom. She wants me home now. I'm sorry you have to leave like this, babe. Usual spot, 10. Love you too. You're very late, Ganga. Your husband has already left. He couldn't wait anymore. My husband? What do you mean? Yes, your husband, Ganga. Netaji Arif's son, Siddharth. Your auntie showed a photograph of yours to him. And he came all the way from India to ask for your hand in marriage. And you were nowhere to be found. Where were you, huh? Uh, I was with a friend. But that's not the point right now. I don't even know this guy and you're calling him my husband? His father is a very prominent leader in Meerut and filthy rich. Plus, they've already asked for your hand in marriage. Now, you wouldn't say no to royalty now, would you? So I said yes on your behalf. Ma, I'm not going to marry someone I don't even know just because he's rich. What happens to my life, my school? Ganga, Miri Jan, don't you want a nice life for yourself? It's been so difficult since your father passed away. Kanga, you're my only child and my only hope for a better life. Allah has finally given us that opportunity. We should be grateful. Kanga, you're a girl. There is not much out there for you. I can't believe you, Ma. I can't. My mother called me home today to meet a man that wants to marry me. She says he's coming back next month for an introduction. What? Shh, your parents. 
You're not going through with it, are you? Of course not. I will run away with you if I have to. How are you doing? I'm sorry about the way my friends and I responded to you in the last class. It was kind of rude. That's okay. Well, we're gonna go get food after class if you want to join. Yes, I would love to. Awesome. Well, my name's Felicia, by the way. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and do you come here often? Mm -hmm. Well, I need to ease myself. I'll be back. Why are you not dressed yet? Please don't make me angry today. Get dressed and come outside and greet your guests properly. Yeah, so Dad, we just set up this new tea plant, Abby. You would love it. I, I, I really want you to... Ganga, what are you wearing? Is that what you wear to come and see your husband? No, 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 Abby. It's totally fine. It's totally okay. My wife-to-be is as American as she's Indian. I respect that. Come with me. What is wrong with you? I don't know him, Ma. I'm not attracted to him. I'm not attracted to him at all. You are young, Ganga. You will get to know him and you will learn to love him. No, Ma, I won't. I'm not attracted to him. I'm not attracted to men. Shut your mouth. And stop speaking this nonsense. Stop embarrassing me right now. I'm going to go outside. And I'm going to apologize for your behavior. Get dressed and come outside in two minutes.
all the work and I got all the new clothes and and I went to school <laughs> and the girls the girls I told you about they came to me they invited me to have dinner with them and we went to this restaurant and I, I had to go to the bathroom so I, I left them for one minute and when I came back they were gone there was nobody and they left me with the bill and I, I had to pay it all myself. Stop crying, Debbie. Remember what I told you the first time they were mean to you? Our dressing is not strange. It's unique. And just because you dress different does not make anyone better than you. Debbie, you are sweet, you are kind, you are beautiful. And there's no one in this world better than you. If those people don't accept you for who you are, then they don't deserve to be in your life. Don't change who you are for anyone, okay? <sighs> it's very late here. I have to go to bed now. Don't cry anymore, okay? <sighs> Good night, sis. Sleep well. Son? Is that you? Dad? Coaches, teachers, everybody thought I would be the next Jesse Owens, but better because I was also a long distance champion too. What happened? 1984, right here in California, the Olympics. Coach had everything set up. I trained day and night, rain and sunshine. I didn't get picked. That didn't stop me. I worked harder. I won more competitions. You wanna hear something funny? I even stopped going to the restaurant just like you. My dad would beat my ass until he got tired. There were times he locked me out of the house. I didn't even know what to do. 1988, the Olympics. I didn't get picked again. 
I was angry at the world. Devastated. And that's when I finally gave up. I was so disappointed. And I went back to work at the restaurant, just like my father wanted me to. I was 21 years old, with no future plans in life. Son, I am so sorry for the way I treated you. I didn't know it would go this far. I was only trying to protect you from the disappointments that I felt when I was your age. But the same week that you left, I went through your room. And I found this. And that's when I realized you're not me. You're much more. So why'd you let me suffer this much? Why didn't you come look for me? I did. I looked for you every single day since then. I didn't know what to do. I was embarrassed. I was ashamed. What am I gonna do? Go to the police and tell them I kicked my son out of my house? It wasn't until one of Wanda's church members said they saw somebody around here that looked like you. I came around, started walking in the area, and thank God it was you. Son, I know you may never forgive me, But please, please come home. I forgive you, Dad. I forgive you, Dad. Label misfits, energy that's rooted in the envy of indigenous bonds. What's a poem without a message? Huh? What's love without acceptance? Huh? What's life without the sun? Yeah, yeah. What's the sun without the breast from which he hung? Look, I know we all need love, but I need to know exactly how I did you wrong and what you need the most. I know we all need love, but I need to know exactly how I did you wrong and what you need the most. Will you let me fix it? Let me fix it. Let me fix it. Let me fix it. Let me fix it. I want to fix it. Let me fix it. Let me fix it. Can I fix it? Let me fix it. Let me fix it. I want to fix it. Can I fix it? Let me fix it. Let me fix it. Can I fix it? Let me fix it. I want to fix it. Can I fix it? Yes, I fix it. I fix it. I know I fix it. I fix this. I fix this. Can you fix it? Can you fix it? Can you fix it? Fix it. Can you fix it? Let me fix it. Let me fix it. Let me fix this. I want to fix it. Can I fix this? Let me fix it. I fix it. Can you fix it? 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 I said, I said we all need love, but I need to know exactly how I did you wrong and what you need the most. I said I know we all need love, but I need to know exactly.